Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a Plants vs Zombies 2 mod called Project Ecclese and why you really need to play it. Now before we kick off, if you do enjoy the content on this channel, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on everything Plants vs Zombies. So what is Plants vs Zombies Project Ecclese or Project Eclipse without a P as I like to call it? Well Ecclese is a Plants vs Zombies 2 mod created by Good P2 and Mind Power that completely overhauls the original game, it aims to address a number of major issues that many players had with Plants vs Zombies 2, such as the over the top monetization, balancing problems and grinding nature to the game that ultimately led its predecessor, the original PBZ, to be considered the better game overall by a lot of people. So what has actually been changed? Well there are a whole ton of things to dive into but the first thing I have to mention is that this mod is completely free to play and the two people, yes just two people, who have created this entire mod really have created Project Ecclese out of their love for the game. So please check them both out on YouTube and consider subscribing to them as I'm sure they will really appreciate it. Anyway let's start off with microtransactions and really all there is to say about this is that all microtransaction elements have been removed from the game. Yes, yeah, so all of those pesky transactions have now been removed from PVZ2 and instead you can get new plants by buying them with gems. Also, the once shallow tier system has been replaced by this really nice three tier system for each plant with every upgrade purchasable with coins. Each tier gives your plant an upgrade, for example one might be more health, another one might be increased ammo and the final one may be increased damage. However, the catch here is that you can only pick one of the tiers so they don't stack on top of each other. The the tier system is a great example for the whole mod, everything has been reworked and you really need to think about your decisions, not everything is straightforward. Speaking of which, I now want to talk about the biggest changes that this mod brings to the game. So Project Ecclese has pretty much overhauled every single level in the game, every level has been reworked and rethought about in unique and interesting ways. But this is not the only thing they have done, the amount of new levels they have added is ridiculous. Project Ecclese has over 400 levels, all the worlds have been reworked ordered and reworked, the modern day has been turned into minigame central, all the vase breaker minigames have now been reworked so now each world has three unique vase breaker levels that aim to be much more interesting and really require thought and strategy. There are about 20 secret levels that are some of the most challenging and most memorable in the game. Finally, on top of all this, there is a world specifically dedicated to community made levels which is amazing. You can join the Project Ecclese Discord server and download some unique community made levels or check out some of the ones that are already in the mod. Next we have new and returning plants. So like I said earlier, all microtransactions in the game have been removed and what this means is that not only do we have access to all the original plants in PvZ2, we actually have free access to all of the premium plants that were once locked behind the dreaded paywall. But it doesn't stop there, oh no no no, we are just getting started. So we have access to all original PvZ2 plants or premium plants, but we also have a barrage of returning plants versus one plants, such as everyone's favourite Ice Room, as well as a number of completely new plants of their own which I am yet to discover, so there is a whole wealth of new plants to discover and test out which I think is amazing. Similarly, new zombie variants have been added. Also when it comes to balancing, pretty much all plants and zombies have been reworked and rebalanced to create a more fun experience as well as make it much more difficult, which for some players may be daunting, however the mod authors actually thought about this and there is even an easy version of the game you can download if you want a more casual Ecclese experience. But that being said, the levels haven't just been made more difficult by just throwing tons of zombies at you, each level has actually been thought about and aren't necessarily difficult because of the zombies they include but because of the strategy and additional objectives put on the player. Ecclese has this way of making the game fair and balanced that leaves the player feeling it's their fault if they failed a level and not blaming it on poor mechanics or unfair advantages that were seemingly trying to force you into buying the overpriced premium plants. Overall, Project Ecclese is an incredibly well done mod that really does a lot of good for Plants vs Zombies 2 and the community as a whole. The mod authors are constantly working on this project with new updates coming pretty frequently and I would really recommend Project Ecclese to any Plants vs Zombies player out there. One thing to note though, the mod can be a little tricky to install but there are a number of installation guides online that I will put a link in the description to as well as a Project Ecclese Discord server with guides, information and people to chat to who are more than happy to help. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, let me know what your thoughts are about Project Ecclese in the comments below, but other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys, bye.